Homegrown Radio. Hey guys, welcome back to Homegrown Radio. I'd like you to hit the like and subscribe button and comment what your favorite part of this video was. Hey, it's Anna Benson coming from the Homegrown Podcast. Yo, what's up? It's Major Keys. I, people know me as Uncle Keanu, but they also call me Uncle Major Keys, the guy of opportunities. This is officially the Homegrown Kids Academy podcast, so do hit a like and subscribe button, also comment on the homegrown YouTube like Paolo had said. So yeah, are you guys good? Yes. Uh, how was school? How was, how was your week? Sad. Oh, I did exams. I finished exams. You finished exams? So yeah. you're, what, what, what term are you going to now? Two. I to term two. Term two. Cool. And you, what, you said your, your school was bad? Today? No, I was just joking. I had a fun week. Fun week. You showed me something about your school. You attend... Um, a Chinese school, I'm not going to say the name uh, for safety, right? Um, so you attended a Chinese school and you guys had Comic Con uh, culture. culture Week. What was it about? Uh, it was just, just to show off the culture, mm-hmm. just, just, just have a fun week. So Monday we had a Chinese thing, Tuesday we had a Chinese world, Tuesday was English day, we could just dress up as an author or People in the open days, like English people, and then Wednesday is African day, we give you the traditional clothes. Thursday is art day, we give you like any like, artists, mm-hmm. and also um, painters and artists. That's dope, right? Like, what would you, what did you do? What would you like dress up in? Uh, maybe as Paolo, or who would you dress up as going to a school? A comic, a comic con. Is it comic con or comic? Oh, comic con was yesterday, Friday. Oh, I get you. It's different days. Alright, what did you dress up as? What would I dress up as? Um, I don't know, I would just dress up as a <laughs> Because you're a brand, right? You follow yeah. cool stuff. Cool, man. And then you, uh, what about what your school up to this week? Just exams? Yeah, and, and um, exam, the exams finished on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And on Friday, I was just stuck in the house doing nothing. I was just sitting down and then on Friday, um, we went to swimming. Yeah. Uh, or swimming, and my friend was going to his cousin's house. Cool, man. So yeah, today we are talking about also traveling. We're talking about our traveling experiences. We're talking about our holidays, and I'm sure there's going to be very funny topics and funny things that come up of what people do when they go on holiday. Yeah. So with me, I I I hate going on outdoor adventures. Like I hate. Going camping because I always, I always bless you, man. On the podcast, it's like, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I, I actually hate going to like adventure things like finding animals there. And like, there was a time when we went to a place called Paris, it's in Free State. And when I opened up the, the bath water, I was trying to like close the what do you call it? The drain. There was a snake that came out. Oh, oh my god, bro. It was like slowly coming out and I could see it. It was a black snake. It was just, yeah. I got like all these, yeah. No, I didn't. I ran out of the bathroom. And then we had the boards in the evening. It was like literally, yeah. we, were living, we were living in like a tree house type of thing. I was like, oh my God, this is not for me. We used to live on a game reserve. Yeah. And when we were gone, our um, cousin some people left our windows open, the people that we, that we lived with, they left our windows open and then monkeys came in and they started tearing the bread, <laughs> the bread packets yeah. and there was bread all over the house. Say nothing to me, the, the, um, we left the windows open and then the monkeys came in and then they just took an egg and broke it and then they took all the food to this egg and, and then I, I just, I went outside, I was the only one going outside to the kitchen and I was like there's a monkey to my siblings and then I told my siblings and then they were like you're lying because you're always like this and I was like no there's a like there's a real monkey there and then they went to go check and they're like ah there's a real monkey and then eventually our aunt saved us I think the room and yeah I, I used the cap gun um like a gun that makes loud sounds uh I used it to scare the monkeys also once, me and my sister got chased by a monkey. My sister and her friend were, were annoying a monkey and they were chasing us and I was literally running for my life. I ran past my sister <laughs> and I thought the monkey was going to get us and we ran to the closest house. So like where was this in South Africa where you guys went to? Like where did you go to? The first place with the, with the monkey coming inside yeah. was at Sun City. 
and then the place uh, I also got chased by a monkey. But that was at Northwest, and um, we were like we went to daycare. Mm -hmm. Or like at that hotel place, and because my parents are tired of us, so we went there, and then we like we like baked with the people, and then I want, I wanted to show them the the cupcake that we, that, that yeah. I made. So I was like, Mandy, can you please cup on me because I'm scared of these monkeys. So she's like, Okay, fine, I cup on you. So then like we walked, we walked, we walked to our, our hotel room, and there were monkeys following us. There were like four of them, and I was like, Mandy, there's monkeys following us. And I was just like, They just want, they just like how you smile. I was like, oh, Okay. Then I walked, I walked, I walked, but then they were like still following. Yeah. Us. So then I ran, <laughs> and they ran with me, and I was like, Oh my god. And then I was like, I think they want the cupcakes, so I just threw it away, and I just yeah. ran, and I was like, Mother, we're going to chase like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and like you even say, like your parents, they were like, go to the daycare, we're tired of you. That's always the case. Have your parents like ever been like tired of you in a holiday? Because like holidays for everyone to relax and to rest. I get the same thing. They're like, oh, we don't want to see you. Don't ask us for anything. We're here to relax. Have you ever had that experience? Um, on the beach, right? Um, my mom had to go somewhere. So it was just me and my auntie and my sister on there. Yeah. And, and then one time, uh, my brother almost got pulled into the water. So we had to go and get him. Oh, I get you. My parents get tired of us every holiday we go to. They, they always find a way to go to the spa and leave us in the hotel room or just take us somewhere. So what do you think would be the solution like for parents not to... I think the older we grow, we also become like very responsible, like we go our own way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we go our own way. What was the most craziest thing you've done on the holiday? Like sneaked out perhaps or like do something that you're not supposed to do? There was one time our, um, our aunt was babysitting us at the hotel room mm -hmm. and then she went to sleep with my little sister and my parents were gone. They went to like party and we're like okay so my sister and i and my brother were like mom let's go so we took money and then we went to like a, a, a an arcade yeah and then we went there and then they found us there and we were like oh my god they found us so, so then we like we saw them walking past and then we hid behind the, um, the basketball thingy mm. and then when they were like gone we, we ran to the hotel room we quickly like took a bus and then we ran. Sure. <laughs> like they, they they almost found us, and then when you got home, we just fake sleep. Cool. What can Paolo tell us more about about traveling and holidays? Um, the naughtiest thing I've ever done. Um, I went in. I went deep into the ocean. Well, not deep, deep. I went out, and there was like a line somewhere, and I went past that line. Yeah. Then I started swimming and I saw surfers coming, so I just swam back there. But I got tired. But I carried on swimming. It was scary. I thought I was gonna go in more into the water. So you, so you can't swim. I can. But it sounds like you can't swim, right? <laughs> no, but still, the beach. When you go into sea water, it's yeah. deep. So I didn't, I didn't want to do that. And you don't know what animals they're like, what animals they eat, what they eat in the water. All right, so we're gonna do a bit of a rock, paper, scissors, all right. I don't know how, we're gonna be three, three of us, all right. So this is gonna be a challenge. Whoever is gonna win is gonna be running and driving today's show. So like we said, do like, hit the subscribe button, the notification button as well for our podcast, live and homegrown radio. This is Homegrown Radio, Kids Academy, brought to you by Homegrown Radio. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Got you. I won. Cool. So this is your time to start now. Let's, let's hear from you, Paolo. Let's okay. drive this thing, man. What I'm gonna talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weirdest dreams. Hey? The weirdest dreams. The weirdest dreams. Okay, cool. Tell us about them. I've had one when I was falling and I... When I was falling and I didn't see the ground in my dream. Is it the dreams? I thought you said streams. Did yeah. you hear streams or dreams? Dreams. Dreams, okay. I got a hearing aid then. I was... I was falling and I, I couldn't go to the ground. There's no floor below. There's no floor mm. below. And I was just falling for a long time. 
weirdest dreams. Is, have you ever had like that when you're like on a roller coaster or like um, where you, let's say you're on a jumping castle or whatever, and when, you, when you're about to go sleep, you like feel, you, feel, you feel like you still feel the motion. Yeah. What's it called? It's not, it's not deja vu. Is it deja vu? No, it's not I called think deja it's vu. Just <laughs> I'm like, why is my soul here? My body's here, but my soul is still there. Like, I'm like, uh. like, like, like when I like mm. swim, swim for long. Like, I just feel myself swimming and I feel the water. But Do you get that? Do you get that as well? Yeah. So, what's your weirdest dream? Um, I've had this dream where, like, I'm in a different school and I'm just sleeping. <sighs> Sleeping. And then like I like kind of see the future in my sleep. Mm. It's like I'm not real. It's my one of my weirdest dreams were it was recent, right? One of my aunts, it was in November, one of my aunts had passed away. She was very prominent um, in I mean, it's not, not in the media space, but more in government space. So when she passed away, that same week, I had a dream about her. Like, we were at a house, and I was dreaming about her death. And I, like, saw a whole lot of celebrities that I, that I like. But these celebrities never had link with her. Like, it was just weird. I was in the house, and they were there. They were comforting me. It was weird, like, people that I look up to. I was like, this is weird. And since then, I woke up. I was like, this is weird, a weird, weird dream. Like, it just can't feel right doesn't feel right and like I even said to myself why am I dreaming about her now whereas I could have been dreaming about something that could have been happened before like something nice like a holiday or something why am I dreaming about her there and then it clicked in my mind that okay that this is a weird dream you know those dark kind of dreams like something could be wrong have you ever had a dark dream yes a lady came into my room right mm -hmm. with a knife and the mask. So a lady came in, it was like blue lights everywhere. And she came into our room with a knife and like a baby mask. And then the dream just ended. <laughs> wow. One, my, one of the scariest dreams that I had was like, where you see that, um, so it's where my grandma said that if she, well, uh, how do I explain it? My grandma, like she put makeup on. Yeah. And then like 10 minutes later, she became blue. So my dream was that if you wear makeup, you turn blue. Turn into a monster. Turn into a monster, wow. It's like, it's like, it's like time travel. You guys know what time travel is, right? Yeah. You, would you ever go on like a, on a trip for time travel? Like uh, what, what, did, what did you expect? Flying cars. Flying cars. Yeah. But there's probably cars that are flying, we just don't see them. No, but, and there's electric cars. Yeah. I would tell myself, I would go back to 2017 and tell myself of the electric Mercedes. But we have electric cars already. Like this, it's more advanced now I mean, than 2017. Like I, the only time I'd like to try time travel is maybe let's say to the 1800s, where there's no internet. Yeah, there's nothing. and show everybody what yeah. you've got. No, but then they'll think you're a witch or a wizard, yeah. and they'll burn you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so true. And then like. Maybe, like, it shouldn't be like cities, anything. It should just be like olden days. But I wouldn't want to be there with the technology. I just like to like be there and experience. Like, what were these people thinking? How innovative were they? You know? For me, like, 1800s were the years of everything. Yeah. And then maybe into the future. Like, I'd like to know how much money I'd have in my bank account <laughs> in the next five years, you know? What car I'm driving? What what am I able to do? Like and able to afford? Your side? Um, I would just try and travel, time travel into like the really old days, like old, old, old days. Eighteen hundreds. Like, no, 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 no. Like before that. Before that. Before what do you call it? BC before the, Christ. The, the, the seventeen. Eh? Medieval. Pardon? Medieval. Yeah, medieval times, right? Cool. Um, I don't know. You see, like, when they used to, I don't know, I, don't, I can see the image, but I, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. When they're using those, those coal trains and mm, like even way, way before. before um, so you see, like, in living Chinese caves. dramas, yeah. like, the, like, it shows, like, the olden part. You see, like, where there's kings and queens. Um, you want that you want that kind of lifestyle. And also, like, maybe in the 70s, 80s, the 90s, no. 
Yeah, 90s. I'm a 90s kid. Because, yeah. I'm a 90s kid. Like, I can give you a whole breakdown. I but just, I, only, I was born in 1997, so it's not much of a that I can teach you about. But, like, my early 2000s were about that. 1997. Zuma went to yeah. prison. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Who went to prison? Zuma. Zuma went to prison when? 1997. Is that true? No, Did Zuma go to prison in 1997? <laughs> we need to go find it out. Like, this is the first time hearing about this. No. I don't know. You should tell us more about it. No, I was joking. So you're 25? No, I'm turning 25 in November. I'm 24 right now. You know, you know those people who say to you, I'm, I'm, let's say they're turning... Like, I'm turning 25 this year. I'd, I'd already said I'm 25. But you look way older. I look older? It's the beard, right? No. What is it? It's Justin J. Justin J. Can you hear? She said I look older. Do I look older? Yeah. Why? The beard. Oh, oh my God. 32! Wow! <laughs> That's the first time I'm ever getting that. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Cool stuff.